Hello everyone, this is Uno Assassin. I'm going to do this for a good friend of mine, H202 from H20, who asked me to make this video of something for that he makes. And uh, what I'm going to do is take a zero clone. You can see where it has been burnt right here. Really bad. This is for my friend of mine who sent me two of these. These are bought from, I think, someone in Romania. Uh, and they have a tendency of overheating and burning up. You can see the burn mark in the case there. So, the fix that I'm going to do and show you step by step is how to create a true square wave uh, zero clone by installing one of these. This is from H202. This is what they call a driver board, a FET driver board. It's an add-on to the zero clone. He has made some improvements on this and done some things. There's right here happens to be a jumper that will, in this mode, be a PWM. It will control this, the reactor. Now, if you take it and jump it over, it bypasses the PWM and goes full current. So you have a ability to do that without doing anything with adjustments. You can do it just as a jumper. Lots of little leads here. I'll show you how to connect all those onto the board. And I have already started on the second unit that my friend has sent me. Uh, that uh, I have right here. Now, as you can see, I've taken the FETs and rotated them around. So now the FETs are more on the heat sink than off the heat sink, the way that uh, the Zero Clone has been made. And I've made this bar that will clamp onto the one lead that comes off the FET by these nuts. And that will be my one connection for the reactor. I've taken everything out of the box. The little FET board. Driver FET will go right here in this location. I have some new standoffs. I'm going to drill holes and mount that right there. In this orientation. Or this orientation. I haven't really decided yet. And then run the leads over to the board. So the big capacitor that was in there and the small capacitor I will move outside and I will mount them on this cooler which will draw cool air around it. They can be outside. I, that's the way I make mine. The other ones the uh, same way. I might put it here on the side. I might put it down here on the next to the fins. I don't know because it connects to the leads coming out right here along with this one and along with the diode will all be outside where it's cooler cut down on the heat in here because these create a lot of heat I've made one of these with uh, his first design board and I dropped my temperature at the FETs by about 20 degrees. You won't even need this fan. You don't even have to have it if you don't want it. Just just the block cooled it well enough. But I'm going to leave the fan on there because it was on there. That's the way most uh, zero clones are. That will help. Can't hurt a bit. Rotated these around. Put this in. Uh, I will mount the board and I'll do some wiring and video that. This board was damaged also along with this one this one you get obvious problems here I have since taken the 
op amp out and put in a socket and put in a new op amp. I feel that's my problem on this board. I didn't burn up anything. I have removed the two driver resistors because you will not need them with the driver board. You will have one connection right to the main uh, connection underneath the board for these two resistors that drives that board. Then you got power hookups and whatever, which I'll show you later. So this board or this unit will be the one that I'm building for my good friend Daryl. Uh, so he happens to be an Oregon homeboy. We work together out here a little bit. I've been kind of out of it, but I needed to do this for him and I needed to do this for H2O2. He has, H2O2 has these boards. You can buy them. He also has a PWM that he's designed. Outstanding unit. He's got kits. He's got units for sale or build yourself. Uh, you can go to his website h202 from h2o you can find him through that he's on youtube you can find him there uh, very good unit is it is a programmable unit adjustable unit uh, it monitors it's trick so ch check him out i said h202 from h2o and uh, see what he's got going he's got some good stuff he's also an oregon homeboy here friends with him definitely knows this stuff so uh, give him a call uh, and I will be back with uh, the board mounted and start showing you where these wires go and uh, this is what Uno's got going right now for a couple good friends and this will help out a lot of people who's got these zero clones that needs this to truly make it a square wave CC PWM and this does it. This is trick. This works really good. If you had an oscilloscope, you'd see that uh, FET turn on and off vertical. No, no ramping. It goes up and down. And that alone is the temperature issue right here. The FET's turning off and on, and this takes care of that. So, Okay, everyone, I will get to work. And like I said, this is just the first installment of this little project. And... Hopefully, I can make this little unit work that Daryl has sent me, and there's no other issues with it. Like I said, there were no burn marks. Everything looks good, so the op amp, I feel, is what he took out. So, I will get to work. Oh, one other thing. You can look at your FETs. Now, he had two FETs in here. This will be good for a true 50 amp system and run cool. But his FETs, he had actually blew the top out of the FET. So if you have issues, take a look at your FET. You'll see it all cracked out, maybe. I wish I could find that other FET, but I probably pitched that sucker. So, but you'll see it. Oh, there it is, right there in front of me. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, yeah, you get a... There's the cracked out portion right there. So, that'll happen. You'll take out the op amp. You'll burn up this input resistor right here. That's your 12 volt in. You'll scorch it. So those are usually the three issues that they have that I have found. So we're gonna clean this up and make a an UNO CCPWM by way of help from Zero Fossil Fuels, H2O2, and Daryl. So you all have a good time, and we'll be back with this. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.